Hi friends, welcome back. Let's discuss the new question, question number four on static timing analysis. So here the question is, what is the total clock latency? And we are given maximum clock tree delay, which is hundred picosecond, and maximum clock delay from the clock source to the clock port is one hundred fifty picosecond. Okay. Now to understand this problem. First, we have to understand these both terms, which is maximum clock tree delay here and the clock delay from the clock source to the clock for each 150 picosecond. So now let's assume that we have a design. This is our design, and this is the clock port of our design. Now, where will we have the clock tree? So the clock tree will be inside our. Oh, let's assume this is our IP, and the clock tree will be inside our IP. So inside our IP, we will be having lots of flip flops. Okay, and this is our clock port. So the clock will be basically re reaching to all the flops. So how the clock clock will not directly go and reach to all the flops in the designs because the clock has to balance its delay. For example, the delay which it which the clock takes. From traveling from clock port to the first floor, and the delay it takes from clock port to the next floor, it should be kind of matching. It should be kind of ideally it should be same. So in order to make it same, since the distance of these two floors from the clock port is not the same, so there will be RC different RC delay, and because of that there will be clock skew. So practically speaking. There is always a clock skew, but we try to minimize the clock skew by designing a proper clock tree. So what we will do is we will insert some buffers, okay? High drive strength buffer. So what those buffers will do? Those buffers will make sure that the propagation delay of the clock between one flop to another flop is going to be kind of same. So if I uh, if I draw this diagram again with more with with clear picture, so it will be like this. So we will be we we will be having this is our design and here we have our clock port. So there will be high drive strength booster uh, buffers will be there, and then we will have different branches of the clock. We will basically divide the clock port or the clock signal into different branches to reach. The clock signal to all the flops with minimum propagation delay. Okay, so now there will be flip flops sitting all over our design, and now the clock signal will go to all the flip flops. Okay, so the delay between our clock port of design to the last point where clock will be going to the flops so this delay this is nothing but called clock tree and this delay is nothing but the delay the clock delay so so this is nothing but the maximum clock tree delay okay so this delay is given 100 picosecond okay so the clock delay is so 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 this is uh, um, clock tree delay or oh, this is also called network delay because this is introduced by the uh, clock tree network so this is also called network delay and this delay is basically introduced by the clock tree uh, into the design so why do we why do we insert the clock tree uh, i have uh, already covered this topic as well uh, i will provide the link in the descriptions in description section you can go through that what is the clock tree and how it is basically built Okay, now what the other delay is given the maximum clock delay from the clock source to the clock port. So, this is clock port of our design, this is our design, and this is the clock port of our design. So, here they are saying that so this clock is coming from some source, right? So, suppose this is the source, it may be a PLL or a crystal oscillator. Suppose one clock, some clock source is there. So the delay from the clock source, which is basically uh, 
producing this clock and the clock fault of our design. So this delay is given as 150 picosecond. So now what is the clock latency? Clock latency is the clock delay from the clock source to our design flip-flop. Okay. So the clock delay is from clock source to our design flip-flop. Okay. So this is the clock delay. This is the clock delay or total clock latency. So now this will become equal to 150 picosecond plus 100 picosecond equal to 250 picosecond. So this is your answer. So the total clock latency always remember this is also called source latency. This is from the clock source to the clock port of our design. So this is basically called source latency and the delay from our clock port to our flip flow sitting inside the designs because of the clock tree is called network delay. So hope this question is clear. If you have any doubts, please write down in the comment section. Also, if you like the video, please hit the like button and also please do subscribe this channel so that you will not miss any such practice problems uh, in the future. Thank you very much.